Hello friends, this video on DNF block elements part 18 is brought to you by examclear.com. No more fear from exam. So we'll start with the trend in the standard electrode potential. Before that, let's understand some of the basic concepts of standard electrode potential. In fact, standard reduction electrode potential. When I say standard electrode potential, I implicitly mean standard reduction electrode potential. See, if you see a galvanic cell, let's start with galvanic cell. In galvanic cell, you have zinc getting oxidized and copper getting reduced, right? And with this, if you see, this zinc oxidized at anode and this at cathode. This is something we have seen. So E of the cell, whole cell is nothing but E0 of cathode minus E0 of anode, correct? That is E reduction of cathode minus E reduction of anode. So e reduction of cathode is my positive co copper E0 is E0 for copper is 0.34 volt and E0 for zinc is minus 0.76 volt. So we talk about the net E, E cathode that is 0.34 volt minus E anode that is minus of 0.76 volt. You do your maths, you get 1.1 volt. Okay. And these values actually 0.34 volt or minus 0.76 volt is with respect to hydrogen. See, when you talk about, in fact, we have discussed a lot in previous videos that when you talk about these standard electrode potentials, you have to talk with respect to something. So chemist told, let's take hydrogen and assume that for hydrogen, E0 is zero. This is assume value. And with respect to this, all these E0s are formed. This is standard electrode potential, we have discussed this. So here to find that, what we do is we take a hydrogen electrode here, it's an anode, and we take a cathode and then we do the reaction, find the volt here. Okay. And whatever volt comes, that is the final volt. Assuming hydrogen is zero. We assume that hydrogen value is zero, but actually it is not zero. And that's why if you see for copper, the reduction potential is 0.34 volt. So that means this is 0.34 volt. That means just by looking at this, you, you can say that this is favorable. Correct? Because this is a positive value for reduction. But actually this doesn't happen, right? We see copper in Cu, Cu plus 2 form also. So this implies that with respect to hydrogen, this is the value. See, this is E reduction, right? 0.3 volt. If you talk about the uh, oxidation value of copper from copper to copper 2 plus, it will become minus 3.4 volt. So what does this statement imply? If we just see the statement, you think, assume that copper to copper 2 plus is not possible because it is minus 3.4 volt, minus 0 0.34 volt, right? So negative value of E oxidation, this is E oxidation, this is E reduction of copper. See, negative value of E oxidation doesn't imply that it is impossible to convert copper to copper plus ions. It is just a relative value with respect to hydrogen. See, H plus to half hydrogen, this is value considered to be zero. This is the considered value and this is used as a reference. So please note negative value and positive value don't get confused. It is just with respect to hydrogen. Okay. Now with this, let's start the trend for uh, standard electrode potential or standard electrode reduction potential actually. So when you say standard electrode potential, we mean standard electrode reduction potential. Okay, so if you see the trend actually, the value becomes less negative from titanium, vanadium, chromium, I am going the same group. The value is becoming less and less negative, though there are some irregularity here, but actually it goes on, you see minus 1.63 minus 1.1 is minus 0.9. There is an irregularity here. Again, it decreases, 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 decreases. Again, there is an irregularity. There is some irregularity, and we'll talk about the cause of this. 
This is actually because of the stability of the half filled sub shell. For example, if we talk about MN, so we are talking about reduction potential, right? So we are talking about MN2 plus to MN. Correct. So let's talk about MN2 plus. So if we talk about MN2 bus plus electronic configuration is AR 3D5 4 S0. So if you see it is half filled. Since it is half filled, it won't actually this is for MN plus. It won't actually try to go to MN. Okay. If you talk about uh, the next irregularity was Jing plus ZN2 plus to ZN. If you see the ZN2 plus electronic configuration, this is 3D10. What is it? This is also a little stable. Right. So because of the half filled or full filled uh, D10, they are relatively stable and thus it is difficult to pick. Like, see, higher negative value of standard electron uh, potential implies easier oxidation. Higher is the negative value of this. Let's understand. See, for example, I'm talking about titanium now. Right? Titanium 2 plus to titanium the value is E is minus 1.63. You reverse the reaction titanium to titanium 2 plus E is what plus 1.63. Correct? This becomes plus. Since this is plus, that means this reaction is easy. This reaction is easy. This implies that oxidation of titanium is easy, right? Because you are oxidizing it. Okay? You are taking out the electron, you are oxidizing it. So, the more the negative value of standard electrode potential, higher is easier is the oxidation of the metal. Okay. Again, for example, titanium to titanium plus, there are a lot of things required. Titanium solids become titanium gas, and titanium gas becomes first ionization energy, you get titanium plus, then second ionization energy, you get titanium 2 plus. So you need Delta H uh, of atomization, you need first ionization energy, again you need second ionization energy and then you get titanium plus. But these all energy is compensated by hydration energy or crystal uh, lattice energy. And we have discussed this. So here, focus on this thing. First thing is, if you go across a series, the value of E0 actually becomes less negative. And why it happens? If you see, it becomes less negative. Why it happens? It is happens because increase in the ionization energy first and second ionization energy we have seen that and here if you see for this reaction to happen titanium 1 to titanium plus ionization energy is playing a role here if you see this ionization energy is playing a role here so these value increase if you see these values increasing overall if you see the value these values increasing as we go across the series okay but there is some irregularity and the irregularity is because of the extra stability of half filled or completely filled uh, MN2 plus and ZN2 plus ions. Okay, don't be confused when you talk about standard electro reduction potential, think of the reduction reaction. For that reaction, that is the value. Okay, for oxidation reaction, you have to change the sign of the reduction potential because standard reduction potential is X, standard oxidation potential will be minus X. For a given reaction, we'll take some numerical now. See, the question says chromium is reducing. That means chromium is a reducing agent, right? That means chromium gets oxidized. And Mn3 plus is oxidizing agent, that means Mn3 gets reduced. The question is why this happens. So let's see the electronic configuration of this chromium 2 plus. Chromium 2 plus electronic configuration is argon 3D4 4S0. Okay, chromium 3 plus, let's see the electronic configuration. This is argon 3D3 4S0. Let's see for Mn manganese 3 plus that is argon 3d4 4s0 and manganese 2 plus is argon 3d5 
bolus. See, when chromium 2 plus is moving to chromium 3 plus on its own, that means chromium 3 plus must be more stable than chromium 2 plus. Similarly, if Mn3 plus is going to become Mn2 plus, that implies Mn2 plus has to be more stable. So, this has to be more stable. So, let's see. Chromium 2 plus and chromium 3 plus, if you see, this is D3. D3 is stabilized by T2G effect. We we'll see that in fact the d orbitals are split right into this we have two and three correct d orbitals has 10 electrons and these are uh, 10 uh, five subcells and this three has the lower energy two has a higher energy if these three are filled then also it is seen that it is stable and this effect is called t2g effect where three of the electrons in the lower orbit, uh, uh, what do you call, lower sub orbital, I can say, are filled, right? So this is called T2G effect and because of this, this is stable and thus chromium 3 plus is more stable than chromium 2 plus. If you talk about MN3 and MN2, if you see this is half filled, so MN2 plus is more stable as compared to MN3 plus, okay? The next question is EV for Mn2 plus to Mn, that is reduction potential, for copper is positive. What is the reason for this? So we have seen that for copper, copper that means Cu2 plus to Cu, this value is 0.34 mole. Cu to Cu2 plus, this value of oxidation will be minus 0.34 mole. So this doesn't imply that it is difficult to oxidize copper. This only says that this is with respect to hydrogen. So with respect to hydrogen, with respect to hydrogen, it is difficult to oxidize copper. It is easy to oxidize hydrogen than copper. Okay. So it's all with respect to hydrogen. So it, that means it says it has higher ionization energy because uh, we are ionizing it, higher ionization and atomization energy and low hydration energy with respect to water because for this reaction to happen, you have to talk about uh, solid to Cu gas, that is my atomization and then first ionization and then second ionization. So these energy are actually higher as compared to hydration energy because hydration energy will compensate for this loss with respect to hydrogen. Right? Because we are always already talking about, we always talk about with respect to hydrogen when we talk about standard electrode potential. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.